gorgeous Capricorn. Welcome, darlings. Try and get that camera to, to just chill. You know, it sort of feels like there's a bit of um, a bit of relaxation uh, and a need for celebration. And in fact, this relaxation might just be the cheers that you need because it just it, it feels like there's a sense of freedom, Capricorn. Uh, you know, a sense of job well done uh, and it's on the energy realms it's in the in a spiritual realm like you've sort of received like this medallion message is coming through on the wings of angels i'm literally seeing like uh like an angel i'm seeing like a rainbow on the horizon <clears throat> your solar plexus is moving it's sort of like you're stepping into your, your power of like i am and we've been working you know on this energy i remember you know over the last months here on the channel and if you're new then then welcome but the capricorn specifically is this solar plexus and this this inner empowerment that's just been really beautiful uh you know and it's sort of like guiding the way to that to that uh that that beautiful that beautiful blessed now but yeah the angel the angel image is going to be really nice for you you're gonna you're gonna notice it somewhere somehow this week um okay capricorn what else have we got coming through for you oh yeah there's a definite like sort of rise in energy it's the shiva sort of energy i've got a tingle in my arm right now it just sort of feels good it feels strong this is like goodness coming in like spirit you know oh yeah so sometimes it can feel like a bit of a burden to have to deal the you know the healing of the mind the body and the soul because when it's out of harmony you know life can feel tumultuous and teary and terrible but you know when we when we heal it and we have those moments of clarity and just like zen we're just like yeah this is good right but you know we can make that healing process fun you know of course there are going to be those difficult times and we all experience it and it's not meant to be easy like you know the, the releasing of that that physical energy it's definitely a challenge isn't it Capricorn but you know there is I feel like there's going to be uh, fun healing energy that's coming through for you this week there's so much opportunity like I'm literally seeing like it's like you're being handed like gifts from the universe like and this is for you it's sort of like it feels like and there's your diploma and there's your you know and this tool you'll be able to put on your belt here and then in this situation this is going to help so it feels very good very grounded um trust let's get started with your cards capricorn i'm really loving the vibe of the you know the energy that's been free flowing in these next these these last couple of weeks it's sort of like it's like going into your physical body it's sort of like both in both arms it's sort of it's sort of like equipping you that's what it's doing capricorn it's like equipping you with these like these tools of of uh, of going forward feels so very nice um just moments of you know of of feeling good and of course you know then you have the roller coaster does this and you know that's natural but but, you know, and then there's that even playing field. The table's never really turned. I'm hearing these messages, Capricorn, so I'm just sort of passing them on. And you never really lost it, but it's funny to, like, see the other side of the coin and just see how others react, isn't it? What a challenge, what a lesson, what an interesting endeavor, I'm hearing someone say. And uh, now you're back, okay, beautiful ones. <laughs> Let's draw it. Let's draw from the romance angels before we turn the camera. I just want to get a vibe oh, of what, uh, what's going on here in love for Capricorn because it, it feels positive. It feels something, I don't know, maybe it's like a fire sign that's got their eye on the Capricorn because <laughs> the energy is, is like, it's really, uh, really fiery, like heating up. Like, so like they're, they're a bit like, oh, you know, Capricorn. <laughs> it says, it is safe for you to love. You know, you're really expressing your love now. Attraction looking very beautiful Capricorn and just you're enjoying this moment the rose so prevalent as well that's interesting because you know I was planning on doing a reading and today I just kept seeing rose like on every number plate which I always notice it because I have this beautiful rose water um you know in my Etsy store and it is organic rose petals rose is the highest frequency flower on earth it's really good in healing for your skin it's pH balancing it's antibacterial you can place it in your breathing mask it's amazing but what I really love about it is that it shifts the energy automatically ah. so we've got rose water all over your cards now sweethearts let's draw one more romance angel card and then get started it says separation somebody is definitely missing you capricorn they're feeling it they're feeling the uh the absence of capricorn right now and they're you know they're wanting to retreat with you is what I'm hearing. Someone's like, I know you're retreating, but can't we retreat together? Okay, let's get started.
Hello you Capricorn! So this is your love reading for March, the bonus love reading. Let's place your rose quartz crystal there and see what message comes through from your twin flame soulmate love connection. I'm hearing communication very clearly, like somebody is wanting to communicate. Freedom! This is their feeling. And the rainbow! Capricorn, this is it, tuning into your energy. This is you, my darlings. It's even got the lotus flower here, all this yellow light, the solar plexus. This is it. This is what was, you know, being, you know, wow, amazing. It says, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Yeah, you're manifesting this, this like flow of love. It's like, it, it, it's, it's gorgeous, Capricorn. It's driving you forward and it's inspiring you. Oh my gosh, this is so, it's amazing. I'm loving this too because it's like, this is like that angel. And, and it's, oh my, wow. It sort of leaves you speechless. It's very connected to this third eye vision. Like, it's like your visions are coming to fruition and it's all connected to heart in this divine flow. But it's like these angels are delivering this information, these messages. Um, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. And it's so true because we see, you know, different possibilities, different timelines. We see, you know, different, like, you know, it's like you see the best in people, Capricorn, and you're like, you're like, yeah, you know, this could be if only you'd get your act together. <laughs> but it's about accepting what is. When you accept the situation, the relationship for how it is, it automatically transforms it. And it just, it's bringing this, you know, into, you know, this, ex oh, there is my, like, <laughs> I'm literally seeing like a fiery, whoa, Capricorn, there is someone coming, blah, I'm speechless. <laughs> Someone is coming in with like a hot message for you and and that's that. That's that's that Capricorn. Goodness. I can't wait to see what the tarot say. Ask your angels. There's so much angel guidance coming through for you. And yes, the answer is yes. Capricorn, I, I'm feeling like going in like chronological so you kind of order here. <laughs> So, fairy cards are next. Remember your dreams. You are creating these dreams. It's all coming to fruition. You're going to be hearing good news, Capricorn. That's that's all I can say right now. Um, that's really what it is. And it's sort of like, it's, it's, it's lighting you up. It, you know, it feels like it just it makes you want to get out of bed in the morning. You're just like, yes. You're saying like, yes. But notice this, like this rainbow, this is like a brand new beginning, but it's connected to this inner peace. You know, like if the decision is right, it will bring you inner peace and it has, and it's brought you to this place. Now your angels, they're just guiding you each step of the way. Let's get another card here and then we'll get messages to see what your person, um, what messages they want to send through. Be creative. Yeah. You're channeling this gorgeous energy. You're following guidance here. Let's pop baby Oreo to here. Um, I am in awe of you and your love. Wow. Yeah, somebody is there just in... What is it like? Oh my gosh. It's like they... they are, I'm totally speechless. Um... And that's sort of how they feel. Like they, it's like their eyes are wide open, and they're just like, "Wow!" Like it's wow. You're like an angel. Funny, these cards also came out for Taurus, so maybe you also have Taurus in your chart. But those messages also came out for Taurus. This card flipped over, but didn't come out of the deck. So this is what they're keeping close to their chest that they don't want you to know, Capricorn. I think of you as soon as I open my eyes. Yeah, that's something they're probably not going to tell you, but it's definitely, you know, a message there. And I will always love you. I hope you know that. I know I made the wrong choice. This is a deep connection. 
It says, I don't feel worthy of your love because they're in awe of how, you know, how kind and generous and amazing and caring you are, Capricorn. You know, all of the, the ways that you showed your love and affection, you know, it, it's like they were holding back. It made them feel unworthy. Wow, there's quite a few messages there. I denied my feelings for you. They absolutely did. Like, they would never tell you that this is the truth of the matter. They're confused as to why it is like this. But Capricorn, you've gone on your own healing journey. It's like you cannot wait around, you know, for others to, to <laughs> you know, you've got to trust in the universe because you have to go with the flow of your energy, of, of honoring your sacred heart. I wish I could see you again soon. And I wish you would give me a sign. Goodness. They're really like, I'm feeling like they're just, they open their eyes, they think of you, they're wishing, they're looking out for you. They go places and they're like, is that, is that Capricorn? You know, it's like they're seeing people that remind you of them. They're seeing you in their dreams, Capricorn. It is a very passionate energy. Like this feels like, it's, it's almost like they're like wanting this to end because it's just a little too much for them. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, let's see. What is the truth of the energy here? Look at this. The three of swords. Yeah. They're feeling heartbroken about this situation. This was in this deck. It says, I wish I could turn back time. They made a wrong choice here, Capricorn. They put you either in a third party situation or they chose someone else over you and they made the wrong choice. Oh yes, they definitely, <laughs> they're definitely feeling that. Um, they wish they could turn back time, but hey, you can't do it. I mean, we can heal the timelines, but we can't really turn it back, can we? Knight of Chalices. Look at this, Capricorn. You know, and every, it's in the grand scheme of things, we don't really hold to regrets it's all a learning lesson and it just gets better you know life just keeps getting more brilliant especially for Capricorn it gets more delicious it says knight of chalices which is this beautiful offer but they're also admiring you Capricorn what is the next I okay so that look at this this is the next move. They're wanting to make this seven of chalices, which is reconnection, you know, recreating those memories, you know, doing it all over again. That's what they're hoping in this situation, Capricorn. I, I love this card because it has the tortoise on it. And if you saw in my on the community page, I have a tortoise. But it's like Zen. You know, it's like this piece. It's like, can't we just have this again? You know? They see you as their queen. That's that's what it is. Like you are queen, queen of wands. You're beautiful. You're delicious. You're amazing. You're loving. You're creative. You're kind. You know, it's like every moment of life with you is this beautiful magical journey. It's like even they just they love watching you. You know, pick out your outfit for the day or the way that you make them. Like you know, uh, a cup of tea or it's just like this connection that you have where it's like they don't even want you to get up and leave. Really, Capricorn. They're like, can't you just like stay like a bit longer? <laughs> It's this sense of just like you're their queen, so they just feel enamored. That's the word I was looking for before, Capricorn. Enamored. They are enamored. Okay. <laughs> what they don't like about this situation is that, well, okay, is the devil card here. They feel addicted to you. They feel consumed by the thought of you, Capricorn. So what they don't like is that, you know, Cap. <laughs> you're a bit of an addiction and you know they feel very tied to you with the knave of swords here they're sort of like it's like they, they can't stop looking at you thinking about you and so it's uh yeah that's what they're not liking about this connection because in a way it sort of feels like you know they can't get their work done they're sort of like they're in meetings and they're sitting there and they're talking to somebody and they're like talking about this like creative idea or this like new project and all of a sudden you just like cross their mind and they're like uh you know, um, I'll say back on track here. <laughs> so that's what they're not liking about the connection. The next move here is the 10 of wands. They are wanting to just reconnect. You know, they're wanting to recreate that magic with you. Um, it's sort of their plan here. Um, you know, like 
get, let's get away, let's go into nature, you know, recreating that magic together. And you've got the two of pentacles. It's they're absolutely reminiscing, you know. There's scents that remind them of you. There's memories. They go places and it just reminds them of the things that you've done together or could do together, Capricorn. They're just like, when is Capricorn coming home already? <laughs> to my heart. <laughs> but the problem is here they made a wrong choice. So I'm really not sure how you feel about this. And that's what we're going to find out because we know, you know, the, the truth of the energy, you know, we know who you are, Capricorn. We know what's, you know, maybe holding them back. It could be fear as well, you know, but it feels like they're, they're you know, they're getting sidetracked by this, you know, consuming thoughts of you, but they're wanting to recreate the magic that you had. So where do we go from here? You know, honestly, let's see. Okay. Let's draw some romance angel cards. What is the next movement here for Capricorn's love? I'm seeing like the beach um, or, or drinking water, like cleansing is going to be really helpful. There is a, a change, a shift in energy um, that's, that's allowing this acceptance for this situation to allow it to shift into something new, to bring in the new flow. That's going to bring about abundance, Capricorn. It's going to bring about being a brown brow. <laughs> Being a brain, <laughs> can't speak, new love, new opportunity, new projects, whatever this is meant to be, it's transforming it, but it's already in this divine order and flow and trusting. You know, it feels like I'm also seeing here, like, you know, the symbol of the evil eye, because like you can see here, like with this, this situation, it literally is like somebody like looking in, you know, and, you know, maybe somebody sabotaged your relationship, you know, but definitely there was like this, this third energy that just was not conducive to, you know, this, the loving support of your relationship and the true love that was. And so look, you know, it's got to be transformed. So let's see. It says unrequited love. You know, they're, they're not coming forward with their feelings and you deserve love. And you absolutely do, Capricorn. And look, you don't have time for, you know, if someone's like, oh, I don't think I'm good enough for you, believe them, Cap. Believe them. Because it means they're just, they're just not, all right? And codependency. It says addictions are affecting your love life. They have, you know, this person, they, what held them back was maybe, you know, addiction to, you know, seducing other people, you know, so not wanting to make a commitment or it was an addiction that was like, you know, drugs, alcohol, something in a situation that brought in, like, this doesn't have to be a third person. This could literally be an addiction. It could be an addiction to a third person or it could be an addiction to, uh, you know, alcohol or to you know and look it's it's one of the most difficult things to heal and we've all been there and we all continue to deal with these things on the journey and like i was saying at the beginning capricorn like this is getting real real now but like i was saying at the beginning you know this healing it's for all of us and it's a lifelong process and it's really an honor. You know, it can feel like a burden, but in the long scheme, in the truth of the matter, it is an honor because so many people want to be, you know, human, like in the human form. So it really, to be, to have breath, to be gifted life, it is an honor. And so it is our honor to be able to heal and to step into the, you know, the duty of the, you know, the gift of finding harmony of mind, body, and soul. And so, you know, it's not just your person that's dealing with this. We're all dealing with, you know, this, this energy, you know, it's a lifelong thing. Keep an open mind. The thing is, there's relationships that bring out the best in us and there's relationships that bring out the worst, okay? And, you know, there's relationships at various times in our life that, you know, they can increase these addictions, which is, you know, bringing out the worst, or they can help us heal them. So, you know, literally, it's like the, the saying, like, we're walking each other home, we're also like helping each other heal. And, you know, maybe it was that this relationship was really bringing out the worst, uh, compromise. Yeah, there was a balance that needed to be made and don't stop. You're on the right path, Capricorn. And look, this is a message straight from spirit You're and your angels and guides. They're not wanting you to stop. You're on the right path. You've made the right decisions and it's about accepting the situation for what is because what was decided had to be done. And you're, by doing this, you have brought about balance and finding compromise in this situation. It's like can bring that 
it was like what was streaming earlier about the turn of the tables and never really losing it. Fairy card. Look within. It's where the answers are. You know, it's your inner light. It's bringing out this rainbow and this new day, this new dawn. And planning to reach out to you. <laughs> it like, it knocks you to you. You're just like, whoa, what? What, <laughs> what was that? Um, yeah. They're planning to reach out to you. You know, they've been thinking about it. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about you. And like I'm hearing someone just like, it is what it is, you know, and sometimes you just have to overcome a situation, and, you know, maybe like it, the, it was like you had to drop this situation to heal, you know, and this was healing that was done throughout many timelines as well, I'm hearing. Uh, I keep thinking about when I first saw it, it's like you're very much in their mind, and I feel like you're better off without me. All right, let's draw some more tarot here. And this is like the, the going forward in, in regards to this situation. Because look, if they're feeling like this at this time, it's like you're not one to, to force anyone into into anything, Capricorn. You're just like, oh, okay, okay. You know, like if, if, that's, if that's how you feel. Um, the hanged man. It's like they gained a new perspective on this situation. They're seeing you in this completely new light. And uh, going forward, Capricorn, they're wanting to, to manifest magic with you. Um, and yeah, start all over again. The Ace of Wands. They want that love. They want to reconnect. It's a, this, is, this is exactly the energy that was feeling for you. It's this, you know, this passion between two people, you know, that is just undeniable. And it's just, uh, wow. It's like you see each other and it's just, it's unmistakable. You know, you both feel this passion, you this longing. This is Ace of Wands. This is, you know, they're planning to reach out. This new beginning, this new offer. And it's all about magic, you know. I'm going to get one more here. Six of Pentacles. They do feel like you're doing better without them. That's how it is. But you are the apple of their eye. And they can't stop thinking about you. What are you going to do about a cap? Really? <laughs> I feel like placing all the crystals around here. You know, some strawberry quartz for that passion. Literally, this is like the vibe of what it is. Let's cleanse this beautiful energy with some selenite. We've got our green jade frog here for, you know, luck and, you know, and love. And uh, let's put a little crystal ocean jasper moon there. What do you think, guys? Baby Yoda right there? And let's draw one final message from your twin flame soulmate love connection. <gasps> oh. Okay. Capricorn. I'm noticing that water. What is so healing and cleansing right now, Capricorn, for you? Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. What I'm noticing here too is just the colors of the crystal, you know, the ocean jasper and the frog, you know, representing, you know, like the, the water and the rain, the purification, the fertility as well. It is really, you know, in this cleansing, it is cleansing the situation. And I am seeing like that, that protective evil eye here, darlings. And look, it even, it even, oh my gosh. Wow. It's even got the eye right there. That's what this is. This is a brand new beginning. This is a, a code of, like a stamp of protection, you know, of cleansing out the old and of, of restoring that, that beautiful passion and also strength, Capricorn, of remembering who you are, of, you know, connecting to that inner strength and self-empowerment, you know, and, and uh, you know, inner power and magic and inner peace. Oh, there's a beautiful rainbow on the horizon for you, Capricorn. Bless you. And I cannot wait to see you again soon for your highest timeline reading. Remember to leave a message or an emoji in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. And you also go into the draw for that crystal pack giveaway, which is happening on the first. And one of the crystals that will be in the pack is this beauty, a little aura obsidian crystal crow. Good luck Capricorn and I shall see you soon.